We've come to one of the world's least hospitable places in the depths of winter. This is the time to find the practitioners of an ancient disappearing tradition, the last eagle hunters of Mongolia. To get to the authentic eagle hunters, we have to endure some extreme conditions, minus 40 degrees. And we also have to venture to some of the most isolated places on this planet. And we hope this trusty Russian jeep will do the job. There are no roads, so we stick to the valley floors. It feels like we've landed on another planet. There's little water and no vegetation. We hear of one eagle hunter who's training his son to keep the tradition alive. But there are no phones or internet. We just have to go there and hope he'll talk to us. This is Bakken, the eagle hunter, huh? Thank you. Bakken, nice to meet you. And Bakbergen. Oh, Bakbergen. His son. His younger son? So he's the one, he's learning to be an eagle hunter. Yeah, yeah. Wow. OK. Thank you. Thank you. Birken lives with three generations of his family, including the newest grandchild. Evening, they give us the traditional welcome, the Bespamak. Wow, so here it is. I am to remember to stay in Mala Chetil in Boom's Exigate. <laughs> Nothing is wasted. Spine, stomach, intestines, organs, it's all here. Everyone shares and eats with their hands to build stronger bonds. That's horse meat? Yeah. yeah. And what's this one here? No, this is horse fat. It's horse fat. Is that good for you? People like to taste or why do they eat it? We like to taste and people think it's also good for the health. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll give it a go. I'm not sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about that. Why? Baby, I'm <laughs> Generally, there's more. It's basically it's meat, right? It's just the way to sustain everyone. Yeah, we eat meat a lot because climate here in Mongolia is really hard, oh. cold, dry. And for the next ten days, meat is pretty much all we eat. Yeah, yeah. Birkin Imyakbai can identify ten generations of eagle hunters in his family. The golden eagle is at the core of a culture that survived more than a thousand years. It's taken as an eaglet from the nest and raised as their own. A unique bond builds between bird and hunter. Eagle eyes are ten times sharper than the human eye. The leather hoods are used to keep them calm. It ensures that they are alert when they're released for the hunt. Yeah, 
Kat söylüyorum güzel bilet. Tüm sak söylüyorum güzel bilet. Kanca tül yok basa da. Birkin has sourced about 40 birds for his fellow eagle hunters over the years. But he says this eagle is one of the best hunters he's had. He's built total trust with her. Bana kara batırdan ağa. Benim lan minezin gözeteyin ha. Başka kusmasam da bile evinde yolu var. Mine, mine jalan aşko. Lan yerekke kasiyet olsun. Mine, mine. Lan kusma kispeyin. Lan en yerekke yerekkeli kos. Me talay kus götürdüm. 30 40 tay kus götürdüm. Dal buna kusat. Bir jalan aşkolga bitip kondurgan kus. Yen köpüsü tört çıtkanı götürürüm odan gey tabiyat. Koy ver. Odan gey buda urpaq körü gerek. Lan da kokte sermen dep. Ünümü jarıqtı körüp jürü gerek. Şu gerek misal buda. Yer görü gerek misal. Kömülsüz kömülsüz endi balan qısaq bitkenin gey qıyım bolıp otur. Qıyım ayarın qoya beretin. Eagle hunting was once mostly about getting food and furs for clothing. These days, it's more about maintaining culture. There are probably only about 60 eagle hunters left. Some do it just for the tourists. The fear is that the real hunters could die out within a generation. Birkin prays they can survive. Whether they do might depend on his youngest son, Buck Bergen. It takes five years of training to earn the title Eagle Hunter. 17-year-old Buck Bergen is in the final stages. Now Buck Bergen has to land the eagle on his arm. A rabbit pelt is used to lure the bird. Burkut düşkan gezde özüm derken sesinim. Sol tülk algandar ötü adamın köngülgü yine çaksı əsir etdi, çaksı köngülgü isil aydı. A burkuttu çakırganda burkutum. Gelge bitti. Gel jağına çakırasın, ıqtasın jağına çakırsan bitip. Kolunda düzük. Kusqa qaramaysan, uqtun ba? Kele jatqan kusqa. Kusqa qaraytın bolsan, kusqa bitip qaraytın bolsan. Qus jazatayın bolsa mana betinden bir kilip ötüp ketip bolar. The eagle hunters are Kazakhs. Their culture survived in this remote corner of Mongolia. In neighboring Kazakhstan their traditions were lost when Soviet rule forced them into collective farms. Here, they're still nomads, and in spring, they'll take their animals and move to new pastures a hundred kilometers away. It's a hard life, and daily chores, like sourcing water from snow, are a constant struggle. Bizim yer bolğanda ayaq tup kirim kirimizdi joq kindi qanımız tamğan yer bolğandıqdan Mekendi yerimiz bar Öz erkimiz özümüzde hazır E mekendi yerde oturğandan keyin misal dağanday Terçilikimiz gel, tümünde vayt almayımız. Bu 
Birkin understands life is changing and knows he may lose his son to city life. Bilim gerek. Hazırgı mına zamanın talabına say. Bak bir gün ben okuyum. Ben Allah olan batırga çağır mektepke ketim. E, bir kütçü bolmayım dese, ben bak bir gün gesen zabıl. E, kaytken günde bir kütçü bolasın. Ol okuğuna ben kilişe gömürünü. Onun zabıl sen bir kütçü bolasın. Kaytken günde deyip kıyın balığa. Sen olsun da gene turup erkeğin yolun jalgaysın deyip ben bak bir gün geçek salamlayım. Son aytatın jangız nersem sen urpağına bizdin arqara yana ata babamızdin belgi jalasqa nersemdi balağa qaysi de bir balağa yürüt degen erek çaytam. Senizde var manım sır boyun şarladım. The reality is much of the younger generation are not going to take up eagle hunting and frankly I can understand why. It's impossible to describe how cold it is out here. You have to wear four or five layers of clothing, but your hands and your feet and your nose still freeze to death. And it's almost impossible to have a wash. So frankly, the comforts of the city are very appealing. Before Buck Bergen decides on a future, his father wants to make sure he'll succeed in the last but most important step in becoming an eagle hunter getting his own bird. The golden eagles nest high up in the rugged peaks. But Bergen will steal an eaglet from a nest. They're much easier to train and domesticate. Yani ota qalıp turğan mana jaŋ özlerim. Oğan eñ birinci jürek kerek. Jürek tugan eks tüşetin aga. Arqan qıylıq ketib bolat. Sonun bärine men balama tüşünük berib jatır misal. Bayqa tastıq. Boldu. Ha. 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 But this is just a training run for spring, when the eagles will nest. For now, there are just some animal bones in the old nest, remnants of feeding time. Tegen gözüm tüşüp jürgem özüm. Endi na balamdı tərbiyələb yatırım, mən kərtə ekib getdim, mən avurlaq getdim. Endi na balamdı salıb atırım. Yağa. This is what it's all about. The hunt is the culmination of all the hunter's skills and knowledge. They can stay out for weeks and generally work in teams. The eagles are kept hooded and perched on a wooden crutch as they have to be carried for days. We've come in winter, the peak time for hunting, when fox and rabbit furs are thick and food is scarce. Hangi <laughs> Мынау қызықты нәрсе болып отыр ғой. Өтті. Мысалы мен ауырып жүрген жерімізден мүтіп кетемін мысалы қалай. Өте бір қуаншыта көңілді шығам мысалы. Сол күні біткен әсен мен мұтам артында қалған мысалы қалай. Е, бала шаға не болды? Е, артта қалған қамалып қалған мал не болды? Аңға шықсам, сол күні түлкі көрсем. Түлкі менен бүркіттің жағаласқанын көрсем. Осындай ғана ойда балам. They get to the top of the hill and the wind is howling. They 
watch and wait, scanning the mountains and the valleys around them for hours. We know it will be hard to watch, but this is what eagles are born to do. Suddenly, a fox is spotted. For a moment, it looks like it's going to get away. But the fox is wounded, and the third eagle gets her prey. <laughs> the dead fox's legs are fed to the eagles as a reward. Later, they will be given the heart and lungs as well. The owner of the eagle that brought down the prey will get the pelt. It will be proudly worn as a symbol of success. In a valley nearby, one of the oldest and most respected hunters is contemplating the future. 75-year-old Cobble Cuck hunted every winter for 50 years. His team was legendary. They would spend entire winters on the hunt. In this rare archive, they're tracking a wolf which had been killing livestock. It took a week to bring it down. Kabul Kuk says today's young men lack the passion of their fathers. But some young people are interested, and they're challenging thousand-year-old traditions. Women are joining the hunt. A young girl called Aishalpan is winning fame as the star of a hit documentary, The Eagle Huntress. The film has had an international release, but it's the first time Kabul Kuk has seen it. He says it's not acceptable. <laughs> But across these mountains, Aishal Pan has inspired others. The town of Tolb is like others in the region. It's conservative and Muslim. Women are usually married by the time they're 18 or 19, raise the kids and look after the home. But it's here we found 14-year-old Akbota. She's the most unlikely candidate to be an eagle hunter. She is small and shy, but she is determined to succeed. Her father, Erkan Baitil Karab, is a respected eagle hunter. He's backing his daughter every step of the way. Uh, 
қоғамның дамысына сай өркендігін өркенге сай болмаса да осы жаңағы ұлдардан қалыспай істеп жатқанын көріп отырмыз. Сондықтан біздің қыз бала да жаңағы айтшолпан, жаңағы ақпатты бүркітші болу өте дұрыс деп қортындылай. He's been teaching her for three years. They spend every weekend training. For Akbota, it means freedom, an escape from a future already laid out for most young girls. At first, Akbota struggled even to carry the eagle, which can weigh up to eight kilograms. It took her a year to build up the strength. Now, the bigger test. Akbota has to call and land the eagle on her arm. It shows she's developing a relationship with the bird. When an eagle is nearly as big as you, it's not that easy to control. Silk, silk, cutter. Ah, ah, ha, Akbota is her father's sole hope to maintain the family's hunting tradition. Her three older brothers were all sent to university in the city and stayed there for work. <laughs> On weekdays, Akbota goes to the local high school. She wants to be a teacher or a journalist and believes she can keep the eagle hunting as well. Akbota's mother, Taka Usa, teaches Kazakh traditional culture at the school. She knows better than most that things are changing fast and mostly for the better. Akbota may not realize it, but she's inspiring her classmates. 
Uh, what is she going to do uh, when she grows up? Does she think women can do anything that men can do? Why? And what does he think about the girls doing hunting? Is it a good thing or a bad thing? What does she want to do when she grows up? Does she want to hunt at all? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going Back in the valley where we met our first hunters, they're not bothered by girls hunting. Birkin has a much bigger worry. Meaning Balak is me, a cousin, me, you wish us them. Meaning Balak is me, tell me a choco, you will, which can always the car out the garden suit. Car, he don't like car and brew shock. Hazard August, the Java and Java Chesh there, Hazard as I ran. Chairman, our item, which is not present, Hannah. Jeff is the scooter, Mzede, it's good. There's still time enough, Birkin hopes, for his son Buck Birkin to master his hunting skills. They don't always take the eaglets from the nest. Sometimes they trap young adults and tame them. This ancient tradition is under pressure. But young Kazakhs insist it's in good hands. Kazakh and Kanda sing in the story. So then the Minimbaskada ear Burkut getting an untasuzor as a matter, Jester, Sol Burkut Kutter, Pavlar and Jolungu, Sunday Burkutchop, Anchibop. Kazakh 